With technology advancing faster than ever, there's never been a more exciting time in biological research. As a biology major at DeSales University, I know just how important it is that we keep adequately funding biological research in the United States. The National Institute of Health is comprised of 27 separate institutes, including the National Cancer Institute, the Institute of Mental Health, and the National Institute of Allergies and Infectious Diseases. The NIH dates all the way back to the 1790s when they provided medical relief to sick and disabled men in the United States Navy. They continued to grow, and by 1870, Congress began allocating funds to the groups to investigate the causes of diseases like cholera and yellow fever. The government established an initiative to fund medical research, and as we continue to progress into the future, the government continues to support and fund the National Institute of Health. NIH's mission is to seek fundamental knowledge about the nature and behavior of living systems and apply that knowledge to enhance health, lengthen life, and reduce the burdens of illness and disability. With 27 institutes, over 300,000 active research personnel at over 2,500 universities, the NIH covers a wide variety of biomedical researching fields. They invest over $30.9 billion annually in medical research. 80% of that money is used to fund nearly 50,000 competitive grants each year. That money is shared between various colleges, medical schools, and other research institutes throughout the world. These institutions write up proposals and send them to the NIH to be evaluated. Though the government funds the NIH, the NIH gets to determine exactly how they distribute the funds to the various organizations and proposals. The NIH also has their own team of researchers located in their Bethesda, Maryland headquarters, who is 10% of the funding for their on-campus research. The 27 institutes and center of the NIH each focus on helping their own key health risks. To name a few, they have the National Cancer Institute aiming to eliminate the millions of deaths that caused by cancer each year, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases looking to understand, treat, and prevent infectious diseases, the Institute of Mental Health looking to better understand the brain to prevent mental health disorders, and the Institute of Neurological Disorders who investigate the normal and diseased nervous systems and are striving to better understand, treat, and prevent neurological disorders. The NIH has been instrumental in so many facets of biological research, it's hard to say how many countless lives they've saved throughout the years. Thanks to their cancer research, cancer rates have steadily been declining over the last decade. This year, roughly 1.6 million new cancer cases occurred, and 580,000 deaths were ruled to be cancer-related. Those numbers are down 24% in men and 16% in women, which is approximately 1.2 million deaths from cancer that were prevented. With the help of the NIH, we look forward to the number of deaths by cancer going down even more. This isn't all good news for the NIH, though. On March 1, 2013, President Obama had to sign an order to initiate the sequestration, which cut $1.55 billion from the NIH. This has forced them to reduce the amount of funds being sent to already approved projects and may make it more difficult for new projects to receive the funding they so desperately need. With more debates to come on Capitol Hill, it's incredibly important that we not let our government cut funding to the NIH. Our country and our world can't afford to lose our research programs. I urge you to fight to keep our biological research clinics funded and write your own local Congress members to let them know we won't stand for the defunding of our national health institutions. Our world's health and lives depend on it.